Hey everyone, Air Max here. This video is the second part of the tutorial on how to set up your own Palworld server on a dedicated Linux machine. So everything which has been said in the previous video is still okay. You don't have to redo everything. But in this video, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper and make the whole like um, management of the server way, way, way easier. So let's get into it. As always, we're going to start with a little bit of context. Uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, liking and viewing the previous video so much. I didn't expect this video to blow out that much, and I'm really thankful for that. Okay, so that's the first thing. And I, I did create this video because uh, most of you guys ask me one key uh, point there that I did not really cover in the previous one. And this key point is about how do I update, how do I restart the server, and can I do that automatically? And the answer is yes, we're going to do that right now in this video. But before we get into this, uh, I, I would like to also tell you that this channel is... Um, my baby <laughs> and i would like you to help hack the algorithm so you know if you get any type of like value i did or you learn anything out of those videos like if i help you in any how i think it would be fair for you to help me back so if you can just you know go back on the previous video watch the totality of it write a little comment saying like, hey, thank you, or whatever you want to say, like just put an emote down there. It will be great. Uh, also subscribe, uh, give a thumbs up to the video. Do the same for this one. I know I'm going to put the link down there to the GitHub with all the different comments. You could go there and just watch it. But the problem is like you are not really helping the channel to grow up. And I would really like you to do that for me, okay? It's free, it will cost you maybe 10 minutes of your time, that's all, or you don't even need to do that. You just, you know, put a thumb up, write a comment, and let the video play. Um, that, that's all I ask, okay? Uh, so I will be really thankful for that. If you want to go further, I have a Patreon, so I'm going to put the link in the description below too. Guys, I really count on you because I've been spending a lot of time to, you know, make this tutorial and all the other one I made on this channel. And I'm pretty sure there is a lot of them that you might be really appreciated of too. So anyway, that was my, my two cents here. Uh, thanks in advance. All right, let's do this now. As I mentioned earlier, I'm expecting you guys watch the previous video about the setup, which I will call like part one. And you set up everything. And I would say like the server can be up and running. Okay, now I'm going to do is like I'm going to create a system D service, which is going to start when your machine starts, the operating system starts, and also like reboot the server every 12 hours. So you're going to be able to change this variable if you, if you want to, but I'm going to go through the process to show you how to set it up and also how to modify everything. So first things first, you need to SSH in your server. So I'm getting there, I'm SSHing there. As a friendly reminder, you need to have Debian installed and not any other distro if you want this uh, tutorial to work. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a file called Palworld Service. So you copy and paste this line from uh, the tutorial from GitHub. And in this file, you're going to copy and paste this content. I'm going to explain it to you guys like that you're going to understand what is important here. So here we have the name. We are using a special user you created in the first part, which is the Steam user. Uh, here we are showing like uh, where it's supposed to uh, find all the different env environment like uh, library. So no problem, everything is set up here. Now we have two commands which are super important. This command here is going to update your server file each time the server is restarted via this service. This is what this command is going to do. And the second one is going to execute the server itself 
with all the optimization there. Now, the command here, which is written runtime max second equal 12 hours. What it means, it means that every 12 hours, this service is going to be restarted. So this is where you need to change depending on how much you want the server to be restarted, depending on your own experience. I've been playing this game for maybe like five hours. It's the weekend there. Uh, I'm spending some time with my family and I'm also making those uh, tutorial video. So I didn't really have the time to play. I don't know how much those servers are optimized to run like for like 12, 24, uh, you know, 72 hours straight. I, I don't know uh, what the, the team uh, made there. But this could be a good shortcut for you to be like, okay, my server after, let's say, three hours doesn't work. Why well, you just you just put a three hours there and it's just going to restart it in the background. And when you will be in game, you're going to be disconnected from the server because that I tested it and you're going to have to wait a little bit because each time it restart is going to also like make sure the game is up to date. And when it does that, you're going to come back into the server and you're going to be exactly where you were at. Like I didn't have any type of rollback when I tried it. So you should be fine. So here, my recommendation is to go with 12 hours to start and kind of like diminishing it if you have some type of like issue related of stability on the long run. Now you edited this file with nano uh, to save is control plus O and then uh, enter. And now the file should be saved. So if you want to make sure it has been saved correctly, you redo a nano uh, there of the file and it should be fine. Okay, so we created this file. Now what we're going to do, we're going to enable uh, the service itself. So to enable the service, you're going to copy and paste this command here. Press enter. You should have uh, this output there saying like everything is okay. Now I'm going to reload all uh, the service themselves because I just added this one. Okay, and now I'm going to start the service. Enter. So here it's going to take a lot of time because it's going to verify all the game. Okay, the server file from the, the, the dedicated server. And then it's going to start. So here, take your time. Um, I'm going to accelerate the video for us to, to move faster there. But don't be scared if, we, if it's not like instant. A few moments later. Also, another super important point. Make sure before that you are not running the server while... Uh, starting the service, right? Like if you are already running the server, just stop it and, you know, start fresh with no server running on the machine. All right, this is done. And normally, if you want to check what is the statue, you're going to do a service pal world statue here. And you should have, so the name of the service here, if it's active and running, it means that your server is up and running. And here you're going to have all, uh, I would say, like the output from the, the service itself. So we are good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big mistake. It's Air Max from the future here. I'm editing the video. And then I, I noticed that, man, I didn't tell them how to restart the service manually and how to stop it. So I'm going to show you that real quick. It's pretty easy. So what you need to do, you know, type service. I think it's going to be pal world and then statue. So it show you like how everything is working or not working. I already covered that. Let's say you want to update the server manually. So what you will do, you will do service pal world restart. And by doing that, it's going to restart the server manually and it's going to put it up to date. So let's say the day they push some type of update and the server is not up to date, you SSH there and you type this command and then it's going to do the whole update. Now, if you want to stop your server, you just need to type service pal world stop and it's going to stop everything. Simple as that. Okay, let's go back to the video now. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the game and I'm going to go on the server. All right, so we are in a game. We're going to do join multiplayer game. When I'm recording this video, uh, most of the servers are down because the game is so, so popular that everything imploded on their hand. So here I'm going to type at the bottom the address. 
of my server. This is where you should type your address again. Tap connect. And we should be good to go, I guess. Here we are. So it's night. But if I go on the option here, and this is what you need to do to make sure you are on your own server and everything is set up correctly, you should have the name of your server and also uh, like the little description of the server right down here. And as you can see, everything is fine. Everything is running. No problemo. I'm going to get out now. And I'm guessing that my server should appear in the recent server while well, it does not well i guess it's going to be a good segue to the second part of this video which is going to be really around uh the bug which i've been encountered by you guys and some of the return you made me on my on my youtube channel so some of you guys were like hey uh when i click directly on the server uh, I can connect to it and it's a non-bug so here it doesn't even appear there even if I show you it was working you have to understand that this game is still in early access and some of the issues related to the game are not related to my tutorial but mm, more to the game itself so I will tell you guys like if you want to connect to your own dedicated server just use the IP down there it's going to be way easier and it's going to be working 100% of the time versus trying to use like the service provided uh, by the PAL world dev. They are under a lot of stress as I mentioned earlier and uh, this is not related to the tutorial. So just to show you again and now connect it should work fine. That's the first thing. Another question that came up a lot 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 of the time and was related to uh, the game itself was like do i need to own the game to run a dedicated server on linux and the answer is no it's free so you don't need to own the game you need to own the game to connect to the dedicated server that's all another point i've seen a lot which are like oh your tutorial doesn't work on ubuntu or whatever distro you are using for your server well I can't make 25 tutorials for every distro. And I decided to go with Debian because in my opinion, it's the more stable. It's the easiest uh, when you come to like set up a server. So if you want to adapt the script and, you know, make it for Ubuntu, Arch, Gentoo, whatever, you are more than welcome. But this tutorial is just for Debian. So make sure you are running it on Debian. Another one I got was related to uh, the save of the server and the question was like hey i already set up a server somewhere else and i would like to transfer the save file so you will see it's it's pretty easy uh to do and I, i'm going to show you real quick where is the location of this file i'm going to quit so now i'm going to show you where the file are actually located on the server and like that you just have to copy them i'm going to put a link uh, on the on the github tutorial page so you need to first log as team and you're gonna go in your home folder here and you need to go in steam 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 apps common pal server pal and when you are there you should have a folder called save and you have the save game here so me what i would do if i were you i will just copy all the content of save on the new server but what you need to understand is like here i'm just covering the linux dedicated server i don't really know how it works on windows and i do believe that if you were running for example a co-op game with one of your friends and not running like a dedicated server from the get-go I'm pretty sure the saves they won't be compatible. What I would do is like stick it to Linux for the server. I think on the long run you're going to be a winner versus Windows because on Windows it's just a pain. And I'm pretty sure the performance won't be as good. The save files they are in this folder there. So just copy them, then use whatever software to copy them to your own computer and transfer them to the other server or SSH them. I won't make a tutorial about that, but 
this is the way to go. Last but not least, the firewall. I had a lot, lot, lot of comments regarding like issues related to the firewall. Long story short, whether you are hosting the server on one of your home lab, or if you are using like a third party service to host it on another server somewhere else, make sure that your firewall has the port open. I think it's TCP and UDP. Uh, on the port 8211. Make sure this is the case because obviously if the firewall is blocking those ports or the one you set up, you won't be able to connect. So I, I won't make a full tutorial about it. Just go on, on YouTube or on Google and type Debian firewall or look uh, towards the provider of your server and check if they have some type of like web interface to open the port uh, to the world, because otherwise uh, you won't be able to connect even if the server is running. Well, that's all. So guys, hit me up with your comments uh, if you have any trouble, but I don't think you should have any trouble for this one. And uh, yeah, I might have to do a, a part three. <laughs> we never know. Uh, I want to thank you again for watching. And uh, please uh, don't forget to uh, rewatch the video, uh, give a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you had any type of information i would really really appreciate it guys have a great rest of your day and uh, enjoy your dedicated server of pal world on linux bisous bisous